On our previous video, we looked at the triple phase diagram for water. Here we're going to look at a typical triple phase diagram, in other words, for just about every other substance in the universe. And the big difference here is this line right here. From the triple point upward, the line between the solid phase and the liquid phase of a substance here has a positive slope. What that means is that if you have, for example, a liquid or something, and you apply enough pressure, you keep increasing the pressure, you can actually turn a liquid into a solid by compressing it and pushing, physically pushing the, the uh, atoms back into a crystalline structure. For water, it's the other way around. You can have an ice structure, you push down hard enough, and you can actually turn it into a liquid by reducing the spaces between the atoms. So this is the typical way a phase diagram looks. Between gas and a liquid, it's uh, no different. A gas, when compressed enough, will uh, turn into a liquid. And of course, if you're over in this region of the temperature scale, uh, close to the freezing point of the substance, you can actually go from a gas to a liquid to a solid by simply compressing it. Something you probably would find on the planet Jupiter. Uh, the um, atmosphere is a gas. When you go far enough into the surface of uh, Jupiter, it turns into liquid. If you go even further under the tremendous pressure, the liquid actually will turn into a solid. And you can actually find solid hydrogen at the center or near the center of Jupiter because of enormous pressure. Here I have a, a kind of a diagram of the Earth. Let me just put that down so no one's confused. And notice how with normal substances, when you apply enough pressure, it turns from a liquid into a solid. Here, of course, we have the mantle that has mostly molten rock. Then if you go further down into the earth, we have the core. And the outside region of the core is a liquid core. Because of the tremendous temperature, everything is liquefied. But then as you go deeper and deeper into the core, the tremendous pressure, the weight of everything else above it, is so great that the liquid metal, because the core is primarily made out of metal, the liquid metal will actually turn into a solid. And we know that the core of the Earth is actually a solid core because of pressure. You can see, even though the temperature is very high at the center of the Earth, you go to the right. If you just apply enough pressure, enough force, you will turn the liquid core into the solid core. And that's exactly what happens. So that's kind of a representation of the triple phase diagram for most substances in the universe.